This is how you can code an auto roll system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. You can either make this multi guild or you can make this single guild. So I'm going to be starting off by showing you how you can make a set auto roll command for a multi guild version. Um, and then we'll actually go ahead and get into uh, making the actual auto roll. So we're going to go into moderation in my handler. If you would like this handler, go ahead and click the video in the description below. But I'm going to go ahead and go into moderation. I'm going to do set auto roll.js. And here we're going to start by defining slash command builder so we can do const slash command builder equals require and here we can do at discord j at slash builders just like that then we can do const permissions bit field and then we can do embed builder and we can do equals require and in here we can say discord.js and we can come down here and say const quick db equals require we can do quick.db so i am going to be using quick.db so make sure you install both of the uh, packages on the screen now so that this will work for you you can also use mongoose or any other uh, database system but i'm just going to be using quick.db we can do const db equals new quick db just like that now we can create the command so we can do module export equals open this up we can say data new slash command builder we can do set name in here we'll say set auto rule. We can do dot set description. In here we'll say this sets uh, auto join role or something like that. And we can say uh, add role option. We can do option arrow function option dot set name. We'll say role. We can do dot set description. This is the role you want as your auto role, just like that. Then we can do dot set required. And we'll say true, just like that. We can add a comma, do async, execute, interaction. We can open this up. In here, what we can say is we can make our permissions check. So we can say if interaction.member.permissions.has permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator turn await interaction dot reply. We can say content you cannot set an auto roll roll or something like that we can do e-p-h-e-m-e-r-a-l we can set this to true we can then come down here and actually get the role so we can do const role equals interaction dot options dot get role and we can say role because that's the name of the role option we set up here and i'm going to change this to const uh, and then we can come down here and actually set this to the database. So we can do await db.set. And we can do auto role underscore. We can do interaction.guild.id. We can do comma. And we can do role.id, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and make the embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We can say color. I'm going to set it to blue, but you can set it to any color you would like. Then I'm going to do dot set description. We can say white check mark. And we'll say uh, your auto rule has been set to, and then we'll pass in the rule. Then we can actually send this. So we can do await interaction dot reply. In here we can say embeds, and we'll do embed just like that. And with that, we are actually done with the set auto roll command. So now we can actually make the auto roll so that when people join, it will give them this role. Or if this is for a single guild, you can actually just pass in the role ID. So to do this, you're going to go to your index.js and we're going to go ahead and create a client.on event. Just make sure you have events defined up in your constructor right here. Just go ahead and do comma events uh, so that everything works. We come down here and do client.on. We can do events.guildmember add comma async member we can do arrow function open this up in here we can say const role equals await db.git in here we can say auto role underscore in here we can pass in our member.guild.id we can add a semicolon here then we can go ahead and do const give role equals await member.guild.roles.cache.git we can pass in our role right there. We can add a semicolon here. Now we can actually give them the role. So we can do member.roles.add. We can do give role, just like that. And with that, we are actually done. So I am going to show you how to do this exact same thing uh, for a single guild. So what you can do is you can just uh, do your client.on. I'm just going to paste it down here, for example. You can go ahead and replace uh, this with your role ID. So for me, I'm just going to pass in my verified role ID, and that will be in here. And then that's all you're going to have to do. Um, and this is going to work for single guild. But for me, I am going to use multi guild for the purpose of the video, but this will work perfectly fine if you're using a single guild. I'm going to comment this out in case you need it later. 
later. But yeah, so with that, we can go ahead and restart the bot and test all of this out. Over in the Discord server, what we can go ahead and do is we can actually go ahead and run our set auto roll command. So I'm going to set the auto roll to, let's say, verified just like that so that when people join they'll get the verified rule and it's going to say you cannot set an auto rule rule i did make a small mistake here uh, make sure you add a exclamation mark here um, and that will work perfectly fine so back in the discord server i did add that exclamation mark so just try auto rule um, one more time and we'll do verified and as you can see it's going to say your auto rule has been set to verified we can go over onto the discord server and we can actually go ahead and join it and as you can see, it's just going to give me all of these rules. It's automatically going to give me the rules. Now, I'm going to turn this off and show you what would happen if that was off. So with it off, I can just go ahead and join the Discord server. As you can see, uh, nothing happened. If I click on my profile, um, I'm going to have no rules. And that is because I did close out of the terminal and turn the bot off. If this worked for you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, if it didn't, we have a perfectly good Discord server here. You can join and get some help in the help channels. Um, and yeah, with that, I will see you guys in the next video.